60 minutes overtime. There are roughly 1,800 monkeys on Cayo Santiago, off the coast of Puerto Rico. They live in isolation in what is a natural laboratory. They're rhesus macaque monkeys who've been studied there for over 80 years because 94% of their DNA is the same as humans. Everything changed for the research and the monkeys when Hurricane Maria slammed into Puerto Rico in September 2017. You thought the monkeys were all yeah, going to die? we thought that the monkeys were going to die. Angelina Ruiz Lambides, the then scientific director of CAIO, seven months pregnant at the time, sheltered in her home outside of San Juan with her husband and two young children. It sounded like a screaming woman's voice constantly for 19 hours. I was locked in one room that was the safest place in our home. Our windows got sucked out from the second floor and we had the hurricane literally inside of our home two hours in and water just dripping through the concrete ceiling. We went upstairs and our entire second floor was flooded and we're trying to take water out and I fall two times, you know, pregnant. I, it was oh. so stressful. You just keep thinking whoever is living in front of the ocean, I, my staff, they must be dead. That's what I was thinking. 155 mile an hour winds smashed into homes and office buildings, destroying everything in sight including the power grid and communication systems. Nearly 3,000 people died. Two days after the hurricane, I get a message, a text message, saying, we have booked a helicopter. Can you make it? Can you be there Sunday morning? And I wrote back, I said, yes, I'm on it. So I start flying over the island and seeing so many homes destroyed. It looked like a bomb had dropped on the island. I asked the pilot to please fly over our office building, and around it lived our neighbors. Our like 70-something-year-old neighbor's home was destroyed, and he, I could see him every day from my office window, and I would imagine he was dead. And, um, sorry. Oh, wow. A couple steps away from my office, there was written with white paint on the street, SOS, Necesitamos Agua y Comida. So SOS, we need water and food. Oh my God. And um, Whoa. that was really, really hard because it's my people. We then went straight to Cayo Santiago, where the monkeys are. And I see this destruction, like 80 plus years of work completely flattened. Angelina was horrified. This is footage she shot from the helicopter. This is Cayo before the hurricane, with a dense canopy of trees and lush foliage. This is after, a green oasis turned brown, buried in dead branches. The island lost two-thirds of its vegetation. Heartbroken by what she was seeing from the air, Angelina wanted a closer look. But even on the ground, she didn't see any monkeys. So then I get on the helicopter again. Back up again. And that's when I see a social group running from the helicopter. And it's like, oh, there's monkeys. They're still Kaya. <laughs> Once the staff was able to return and do a complete census on the ground, they found, to their utter astonishment, that most had lived. They estimated just about 50 had died. What about all the samples you had taken in the past? The office building, of the primate center in Punta Santiago was without power for nine months. Nine months. And we have, in our minus 80 freezers and in our freezers, we have biological samples and like serum from monkeys 
for years and years. And we owe it to the staff. They would come in the middle of the night to inspect the generators to make sure that they wouldn't turn off. And if we had an emergency, then we had a backup for the freezers specifically. And we did not lose a single sample. You have said that the staff and many other people on this island feel as though they're still living through Maria. That is true. Because our infrastructure hasn't been rebuilt, because there are still houses with blue tarps, there are still bridges that connected communities that haven't been rebuilt. And hurricane season approaches, we're just not necessarily ready and safe yet. Hundreds of thousands of people left Puerto Rico after the hurricane, just m moved away. Yeah. But why didn't you? I didn't leave because I was needed here. There's still a lot of work to do here, a lot.